All right, you're gonna see it firsthand with me. Let's see what's in here. Shadowproof ornaments. More packing. All right, we get our first mic out. What do we got? Four pin. The first D one oh four. Wow, that's nice. Holy cow, is that thing in good shape. Wow, I'm going to bring this one over to you. I'm going to put that camera on close up and let you get a good look at this one. Ready? Here we go. Look at that. Let me look into the camera make sure you get a good view of this thing. Yeah, you're getting a reflection of everything that's in my office here. Isn't that a beauty? Even the bottom. Look at the bottom. Nice, huh? Ooh, we're off to a good start. All right, let's set you back on distance. All right, let's see what else we got. It's most likely for a Cobra. It's got a four pin plug on it. All right, let's put that one there. Wow, that's a big microphone. Holy cow, I didn't realize they were that big. These are the first D104s I've ever had. <laughs> that's it might be something interesting on that one. A sock puppet included with this one. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Whew. Wow, that's another beauty. Bottom is really nice. Even all the paint on the base is in fantastic condition. You know, needs a little bit of cleaning, but wow. And what do we got? Another four pin, most likely a Cobra. Isn't that awesome? Let's see what else we have. Well, we have an antenna switch box, which has never been labeled. Let's put that there. Let's put our sock puppet right here. Actually, Let's try on the sock puppet. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mr. Microphone. <laughs> Let's put you back over here. <laughs> All right, what else? Let's see. This one he listed as being fair condition. This is a, a D104 Minuteman 2. Let's see. Oh, we got a five pin connector. This one's actually pretty nice. The cord has some cracking in it. And there's a little bit of corrosion on the screws on the back. Can you see how they're a little green? I don't know if you can see that or not. I may end up replacing the cord on it. Yeah, that, that cord's beat. <laughs> As I bend it, I can feel it cracking. That's not an issue. I got plenty of cords around. All right, there's another mic. The microphone itself, though, is in good shape. All right. Now, cables. There's a few of these that, like this one, worthless. This one, worthless. On the TV cables. There's another one, worthless. All right, the rest are all CB cables. It's a cheapie, but it's in good shape. Coil that up a little bit. Put that aside. Look at these monsters. Wow, they're in really good shape, too. There's a few of these in here. Yeah. 
idea to get rid of those flimsy little patch cables that I'm currently running. Run some big boys, because look at the difference in the size of that cable. Whew. What are these? I'm going to take the glasses down, because I don't have bifocals yet. So. RG8U. Superflex. Awesome. Well, these I'm going to have to put someplace else. How about put my glasses back? Let's see. If I get this stuff out of the way, get those out of there. Yeah, there's a good place for those. Let's see. What do we got here? A little piece of wire. <laughs> Cover for a light. I don't know what that's for. I don't think there's anything that uses that. There's some interesting stuff that's just tossed into the box. Another short piece of wire. Oh, one of those cable TV wires was missing its plug. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's right. He said this was in here, but there was no pictures of this. Bag open. Let's see what's in the bag. Actually, there's a receipt with it. That's for five dollars and twenty-nine cents, and it's for an, a forty MF, four hundred and fifty volt caps. I don't think that's what's in the bag, though. Resistors, more resistors, oh there's a capacitor, just a bag of <laughs> resistors, I have no idea what they're for. Oh and I'm, as I'm putting these back in I was reading this paper that was in here with it and it looks like it's the owner's manual for one of the D104s so let's put that over here we'll get the plastic bag out of here we'll put it with the backing material and let's see what do we have upside down Oh, warning, over-modulating. Oh, it's just telling you how to set the microphone. And look at that. Models T-UG8 and T-UG8-D104. Cool, it even shows the wiring inside of it. Look at that whole diagram with it. Nice. Let's put that back with it. What else do we have here? Oh, look at that. The static CB microphone hookup manual. Two of them. Let's see what's in here. A list of abbreviations. Component values. And look at that. Charts to tell you how to wire it for pretty much any radio, even Delco, Craig, Dynascan, Cobra. Fan and car, yeah, I got a fan and radio right up there. Lafayette, Pace, Panasonic, Pierce Simpson. Oh, that's that's kind of useful. That's awesome. Then we got paperwork with the D one oh fours. Alright, we're gonna start out these are a tease. They say Turner. But inside it originally was a Turner M plus three. Transistorized ceramic. 
with volume control. But now, what we have in here <coughs> are the original radios, are the original microphones to the radios that I'm sure these Turner mics went with. These are some Craig mics. I, I, I'm saying mics because there's a second one of these still in the box. Well, that's a pretty cool little microphone. Look at that one. It's just a stock mic, but that's a cool mic, isn't it? I don't know yet what that plug is for. That's five pins. Kind of resembles a DIN, but has a screw-on lock. Cool little mic, though. I may keep one of those. So, let's put that over here, too. Let's put that back in the box. I'm going to leave the boxes in the big box. We'll take out the second Craig mic. Oh, it's kind of sad, too, that none of the turners are here. Just look at all the paperwork is all here for the turner mics. Ah. <laughs> tearing the bag. It's, the bag is old and the bracket is sharp. Brand new hanger brackets. I wonder if the other box had one too. But all the paperwork for the Turner microphones, even the warranty card, oh wait a minute, even the original receipt for, oh they bought a plug to go on it for $2.35 249 after tax. And where was that purchased? Alabama. Who knows, maybe this is worth something to somebody. Some collector. It's all the original paperwork for an M plus three. Cool. Alright, let's take the mic out of the bag. Close that box back up. As you see, another Craig mic. Brand new. Doesn't look like it was ever used. I don't know if they bought the radios and immediately took these off and put on the Turner mics. Those mics look like brand new. Alright, let's put that back in there. Now, I'll take these out one at a time. There's two of them. More brand new in the box vintage old stuff Don't damage the box we'll look at the mic in a second I just want to see the paperwork Instructions for Cobra model CA51 Dynamic Plus Amplified Mobile Microphone. Let's slip that out of the bag. Whew, that's nice. Look at that. I already have one like it. I know these are good mics. And of course, it has a four pin on it. Let's see if it ever had a battery put in it. This is like Christmas. <laughs> I can't tell you what I paid for this because all of these are going up for sale. Unfortunately, I can't afford to keep any of them. So all of these you'll see individually listed on eBay pretty soon. But I'm seeing them for the first time. Wow, I don't think that has ever had a battery put in it. I have brand new batteries coming for these, too. That's awesome. Marking. It does not. 
I don't want to confuse the two because one's a CA50 and one's a CA51. I'm not going to go crazy putting this all back together because I am going to test all these later. So the next one is the CA-51. Same thing down in the bottom. The original instruction book is still in there. And what are you wired for? Oh, we got a 5-pin. Nice. Same thing. Let's see if it's ever had a battery in this one. <laughs> I just dread when I buy stuff like this that there is batteries that have been in them for years. But so far, these don't look like anything has ever been put in them. Screw threads in quite a ways. Another one, no battery. And I don't see any scratches inside, so it doesn't look like a battery was ever slid into it. These all came from an estate sale, so don't really have the history on them. see what else we have. Another antenna switch. This one's a Sears. But three antennas, one radio. A lot smaller than the other one. And last item in the box is heavy. It's a solid state regulated power converter with two price tags on it. A sticker one that says $24.99 and a handwritten that says $14.99. It's a 4 amp continuous 7 amp surge. That's not bad actually. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that's really nice. That's in fantastic condition. It's heavy too. It's got a lot of weight to it. Maybe I'll put that down in the garage. Because the power supply that I have down there is only a 12 amp continuous. This is 13.8. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not amp, uh, volts. See how my old realistic does that? 13.8. All right, that's it. That's what this lot contained. <laughs> I just couldn't pass it by. And getting the added in sock puppet, well, that's just awesome. <laughs> Here he is, Mr. Microphone, signing out. <laughs> Go ahead, say it for me, buddy. Moa Junkie 151, standing by. We'll put him on this microphone this time. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching.